Maybe you should pull the fucking trigger. Pull the trigger. Ain't nobody gonna do for you. What is up, guys? It is your boy Prod the Froggy with a brand new video, and we are about to hop right into a new story that I'm about to tell you guys. And the topic of the story is gonna be about the volleyball season and how my team did in the finals. Let's hop right into it. All right, so to the story, your boy made the volleyball team this year, obviously, because I'm the freaking best. Okay, no, I wasn't. Oh, before I talk about this, we gotta talk about last year in grade nine when I joined the team mostly because it was out of pity because um i was kind of bad like really bad. okay anyways so grade nine your boy started playing volleyball because my dad got me into it and i was shit the only reason i wasn't in the team was because i was tall and my coach was like hmm maybe if i take him then he will learn and he'll be better next year and guess what the fuck just happened your boy became the best so after learning and after being benched and after being watching all my teammates play and bro, for a fact, if someone like counted the amount of minutes I played during the entire season, it would be less than an hour. Bet. Definitely. Anyways, so over the summer, I practiced volleyball a lot in my vertical. And I grew a bit. I was 5'8", now I'm 5'10". Um, so I joined the team. And immediately, all the players like from last year that are not grade 10 now, we all got into like we all became better and all stuff like like everyone was good so like we like our team was pretty good like out of all high school our high school was like decent like, so a little bit above decent you know so before we can even talk about the finals the loss of finals we have to first talk about our teammates so we're gonna talk about like how they were as like a person you know so first the lady killer the boy himself parag the frog your boy's been spiking those balls, you know what I'm saying? I've been getting those jumpsters in all the time. I'm like the ace of the team. No, I wasn't. I wish I was. So that's me as a head blocker. Second, we have Jesse. We got the big boy, the six foot white guy that can play basketball. He's in the basketball team too, so a basketball boy, and he's a sick volleyball boy too. As he get he's like he blocks mostly everything. A lot of it, yeah. We have the short man. Okay, I'm not gonna call him short because if he finds this video, he's gonna break my ankles in gym class. Anyways, we have the boy Andy Lou. He is a uh, five seven and I think five six five seven. Anyways, it doesn't matter because this man can jump, boy. This guy can almost touch rim, and I'm kind of jealous. And I want to drink bleach. Oh, he played as right power, and another power we had was the Naji. He's a black boy, black boy, lasamba. Okay. So he was a power, he's like 5'7", like 5'8", but he can still jump high, so it doesn't matter. We have Devin as a header. He plays like rep volleyball before, and he plays baseball. He's like another white boy, like 5'9", yeah, around that. And he's a six header, because, yeah. And for our last teammate, for the left side hitter, we have Zahor, a brown boy. And yeah, he was just a very quiet, okay, he, he's not quiet. This guy's, whew, memories, anyways. So that was our team, that was the US 6. And let me just tell you guys this. Every time there was a bad call, Jesse would always get triggered. I'm telling you now, if he finds this video, he's going to kill me. Actually, maybe. So every time there would be like a call, like, oh, it's a double touch, or like, oh, you stepped on the line, something like that. Let's say the other team serves the ball and it was out, but then the ref calls it in. Jesse will be like, excuse me. Dude, it was okay, anyways, like that. So, for like practices, we work three days a week Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. We have to wake up at 6 a.m. and get to school by 7 10. Most of us had to walk there or drive there. For me, I walked, it was like a 10 minute walk. So, anyways, we walked there, right? Not we, I. I walked there every morning, got there at 7 o'clock, put up the nets, and practiced volleyball every single day, three times a week. We put our blood sweat and tears into this team okay like we practice hard as we could every day as in like monday tuesday and thursday so we have the playoffs hosted in our school and we, we win both of them it was against i'm not gonna say the schools but we reversed against we beat two teams moving on to the finals and i was like oh my god dude 
we're gonna win this because like for our school the last time our like school won the playoffs it was like way back like i'm, I'm talking about like 2007 like it's it's a long ass time so i'm like yo we are going to win this shit and we're all getting hyped and all that stuff and then babs comes up to us our coach we call him babs but so babs comes and he's like okay guys usually a, a volleyball game is best out of two and maybe at best out of three if if like it's tied right but no for final it's five and i'm like wait a minute what can you say that again and he's like if you want to win the finals you have to play and win three sets i'm like what so your boy's kind of freaking out and he's like okay don't worry everyone just get a good rest tomorrow and drink some water and it, it'll be all okay so the next day rolls by and we all we all like school ends and he's like, okay me here by the bus at like five or, or like 4 30 because that's when like the bus leaves to go to the finals so 4 30 i mean after school ends me me and my friends were supposed to go to the subway but like first of all i'm a brook boy and second my tummy was hurting and there's no way i was gonna take a shit in some subway so i walked home put on some new clothes got that sick volleyball bag you know what i'm saying i look so cool and then we meet at the bus so we're in the bus and jesse comes in and jesse is like our ace you know he's like that big guy like if you watch those like animes like, like no not, not even anime like if you think about think of it as kobe like we like our team was basically lakers and jesse was our kobe you know what i'm saying but anyways so jesse comes in and he comes in holding his ankle and i was like oh my god jesse what <sighs> jesse what did you do this time and jesse's like oh guys um I may have like sprained or like maybe twisted my ankle. I don't know if I can play it today. And everyone was like, <gasps> <gasps> so we all there like, oh my god, Jesse, are you serious? Like, what did you even do? And Jesse was like, you know, I was playing ball. You know what I'm saying? Fam's all like done, no fam. You know what I'm saying? Like guan guan. I'm like, okay, dude, whatever. And we're looking at Dean, and Dean is our other middle blocker for backup. Like he's a sub. He's still tall and stuff, but like, he's like. He's not as experienced as Jesse is. So we're okay, Dean, you know what? You're playing for us, buddy boy. Cause like, if, if Jesse can't play, then uh, we gotta use you. So we're all panicking. And like, this is when the bus goes like to the school for finals. So we're all like getting all like, <gasps> Jesse, we need you. <gasps> so then <laughs> the bus stops and we're at the place. And Jesse's like, all right, nah, I'm good guys. I'm fine, I'm fine. So everyone's like, oh, thank God. So we're all good. So we walk into the gym. And we're versing a school, and their school is, they have this, okay, they have this one guy, a middle blocker, he's like my height, I think, 5'10", he's black, obviously, okay, that's kind of sound racist, but I'm, I'm not racist, I promise, a black guy, and they, Setter and him would always do quicks, and they would always score, if you don't know what a quick is, so in volleyball, when you like, when you pass the ball to this header, you basically have to wait till they set the ball, wait till the ball falls down at its peak, and that's when you start to do your push and like hit the ball, right? A quick is when the ball is set to this header and then you immediately go and jump in the air. And with this header is like, you know, his ability to like set the ball. He was set the ball like right in front of you, making it more faster as an approach to like hit the ball down, right? So that's what their team did a lot. Like before in tournament, beat them once in one set. And for one set, they crushed us because yeah. So we're all kind of like a little... Like my old teammates were feeling, but for me, I was scared. Like I was really scared. I'm like, yo, this guy's gonna like score. Like, oh my god! So we're warming up, and there's this warming thing that like the, you like toss the ball to like this header, and he he sends the ball to you and you like, spike it down, right? This guy, this guy tosses the ball to this header. This header is a perfect set. This guy slams the ball down like a freaking Kobe Bryant. He's like, <gasps> like he slams that shit down, boy. So, and then the game starts. The game starts. Okay, all the anxiety aside, it's time to show our blood, sweat, and tears into this and how hard we work and we're not going to lose this, okay? And guess what? Guess what happens? That's right. Your boy won. The, your boy, your school, the homie Proud the Frog has won the finals and we have got that gold medal. Amen, my brothers. We all got, we all, the bench warmers, but they all got up and they're like, oh my god, Prague team you guys are so amazing oh my god and i was like oh my god you, you guys did it for, for like the past seven years no i mean 10 years no one has ever scored the finals you guys did it and that is the end of the story of your boy being the best of the best 
Psych, you really thought that really happened? Nah, B. Here's the, the real story. The real story is that we played and we got 3-1 swept. Boy, your boy lost the game. Your boy did not win any medal. We had, okay, we won second medal, but like, you know, silver isn't looking too good on a, on a wall. You know what I'm saying? So we lost to the team because they beat us the first set. Then they beat us the second set. Third set, we beat them. And fourth set, they just crushed us. So then we're like, you know what, dude? It was a good game. So like, it was okay, I guess. Oh, and during the game, my boy Jesse, he got angrier and more and every time. Every time the ref called something on our team, he would be like, <laughs> he, would, he would get pissed off, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, you know, and like at sometimes my coach or like the other teammate had to like calm him down because, you know, he would get angry and stuff. And like we took a picture, but like everyone in the picture looks pissed. Like me and Jesse look pissed. So that is the end of the story of your boy not uh, getting first place. But we learned from our mistakes and it was a pretty good season. So I'm fine with that. And yeah, that's the end of the story. Hope you guys liked the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. And your boy is signing out. See you guys later.